Cleopatra Kambugu is no ordinary Ugandan. Identified as a boy at birth, Kambugu felt she was in the wrong body. Sexually, they actually identify as a heterosexual woman because I'm into men. Um, but in terms of gender, I do identify as a transgender woman. Apparently, my, the organs on my body are not the same like what was on my passport when I was born. Kambugu is the first known transgender Ugandan to be issued a national ID registering her with a different gender than the one she was given at birth. She calls it a big win, mainly because Uganda is widely said to be a homophobic society. For me, it's momentous. It's a huge moment. It basically feels like I've done it. <laughs> I've done it. And I hope this changes something. Yeah? You know, the fact that as a transgender woman, I'm able to have an ID that treats if The things it means, not the things that it shouldn't have been. That, and that, that, that's, that's how I feel like. I feel like I'm wearing a crown of thorns. In Uganda, many LGBTQI people live secretly to avoid harassment from authorities and the public. But Kambugu is public about her status. She believes talking about her transgender identity has made some people more tolerant towards sexual minorities. The, bit, the place where I said people actually know I'm transgender, I, I talk about this. It's not a secret. It's on my web. It's on my. It's on my Instagram. It's on all my socials. I don't hide about it. About it, and that's a first step to actually live openly, proudly as a transgender person, and say, you know what? There's nothing wrong with me, and I don't think you should hate on something you don't understand. Kambugu is fighting for a more inclusive Uganda. On her social media accounts, she calls for a society where everyone is free to decide who they want to be. I exist, I'm here, this is what I look like. Can you plan for me? Can you account for me? When I go to like a hospital like Mulago, um, if I have an M on my passport, can I go and can I be able to access like uh, breast health or a pap smear? Or next year when you are having a census as a country, can we look at that questionnaire and say, does it count all Ugandans when you speak about things like gender? And if it's not counting transgender people, let's include it. If it's not counting people like who are intersex, what the government erroneously called hermaphrodite, can we include them because these, these children are being born? Kambugu says that speaking out for people like her is not an easy task. But she remains convinced that changing society may take one little push at a time. Ah!